Good day everyone and welcome to our science class. Today, we will study the different modes of reproduction of flowering and non-flowering plants. In this lesson, you will show the different modes of reproduction of flowering and non-flowering plants. Before we start, let us first sing this song. scientist get your pen and paper and let's try to do this guess how arrange the steps that refer to the different modes of reproduction of moss and fern write numbers one to five Okay, so number one, spore case opens. Number two, spore grows into a moss plant. Next, number three, sperm swim to egg cells. Number four, fertilization takes place. And number five, fertilized egg cell grows into a ball of spores. How about this? Okay, the first one is spore cases open. Number two, spore begins to grow into young fern plant. Number three, sperm swim to egg cells of young fern plant. Number four, fertilized egg cell grows into new plant part. And number five, new plant part grows into fern. No living things will live forever. Plants, like people and animals, are living things. We don't expect them to live forever. How will they continue their species? What characteristic of plants enables them to grow and multiply? Plants carry out reproduction in different ways. Today, you're going to show the different modes of reproduction of flowering and non-flowering plants. Do you know the song Bahay Kubo? I'm sure everyone knows that. Okay, let us sing.
Now, list some of the plants mentioned in the song Bahay Kubo that reproduce sexually and asexually. Do this in 2 minutes. A few minutes later. Okay, let us see if you have the same answer with this. So, the plants mentioned in the song that reproduce sexually are talong or eggplant, cigarillas or wing bean, mani, that's peanut, sitaw or string bean, bataw, hyacinth bean, patani or kidney bean, kundol, that's flowering plants. Asexual reproduction is producing new plants through other plant parts and no sex cells are involved, while sexual reproduction takes place when flowers produce seeds. Remember kids, plants carry out reproduction in different ways, such as from seeds, spores, and other plant parts. Asexual reproduction is producing new plants with no sex cells involved. Non-flowering plants do not have flowers, so they do not produce seeds. Asexual reproduction in plants occurs as new plants grow from vegetative structures such as stems, leaves, bulbs, and roots. New plants can be reproduced asexually through the following kinds of plants. Rhizomes, that is creeping underground stems. The example is ginger. Tuber, that is an enlarged root. Examples are 
kamote, ube, potato, gabi, and sweet potato. Bulb, that is, and large leaves, examples are onion and garlic. Runners are long slender stems, the examples are grass and strawberries. Suckers, that's underground shoots, the example is banana. Leaf cutting, examples are katakataka, welcome plant, and begonia. Stem cutting, examples are San Francisco, rose, santan, etc. Sexual reproduction in plants occurs through pollination and fertilization that leads to the production of seeds. Other plants reproduce through the formation of spores instead of seeds. They are mosses, ferns, gymnosperms, or conifers, and liverworts. At present, we can feel how high the prices of food commodities in the markets are. Foods like fruits and vegetables can become very costly day by day. Based from your learning on plant reproduction, how can you help your family in lessening your food expenses every day? This time, get your pen and paper again and take the quiz. Identify how the following plants reproduce sexually. Write seeds or spores on the blank. Identify how the following plants reproduce asexually. Okay, check your work. Who get 10? Very good. Congratulations for finishing our lesson for today. For your offline activity, identify a plant in your place, show its mode or way of reproduction through an illustration, color your work, then write a short description about it. This is the end of my lessons. Again, this is Teacher Mary Ann saying, stay at home and always keep safe. Bye! Thank you.